It's, it's a sort of a way of getting your ideas out. You have these niggling ideas in the back of your head, and it's just a way of getting rid of them, really. It's quite a cathartic process, but I quite like that. Getting a sort of an embryo of a thought and then sort of following it through to a conclusion. It's just sort of getting all the rubbish out of your head, really, and painting's quite good at doing that. I think, yeah, I think anyone that paints has got to be a little bit obsessive because it's a real time waster and basically you sort of put yourself in isolation in a room and watch paint dry, which is probably not the greatest way of spending time, but it, it's very rewarding. I get a buzz off it, which is nice. Do you kind of do anything with the paintings afterwards? Or? Yeah, I exhibit them and I sell a few and yeah. So I try and get them out as often as possible. I've got a website I put them up on and a Facebook page I post them up on. But yeah, I mean, I do okay. They they pay for themselves. I cover my material costs and everything else. So, yeah, I, I don't lose money on them. But yeah, they're good. They're good. I mean, it's a recreation. It's, it's more of a hobby. I couldn't make a living out of it, but I don't make a vast loss off it. Uh, there's loads of different processes. I see stuff, I watch stuff on TV, I hear stuff on the radio, I hear it in songs, and something will just hook on the back of your mind. And you sort of, it's a process of trying to work out why it's there and why you're interested with it. So you sort of draw it and you think about it and you paint it and then you make more paintings. And eventually you sort of whittle it down into some sort of, I don't know, realization really. It's just process really. It's just working it through your head. You start off with little drawings and then you make bigger drawings and then you make colour drawings. And I do a lot of digital work as well, so I'll do stuff on Photoshop. And eventually you just adapt it really and things will look right and things won't look right and you keep the things that look right and you get rid of the things that don't. And that's by a process of elimination, you end up with something in the end that you're happy with or, or sometimes the idea just gets to a point where you just can't do it anymore and then you stop, and then something else will come along. Would you say you finish more paintings than you get rid of? Or? Yeah, I don't know really. I mean, it's always a tricky one. You need To say you finish a painting is always a hard thing, because there's always stuff you could do. I think you just get to a point where you don't want to do any more to it. I think the big danger with painting is you can over-finish them, which is the big problem most people find. You overwork them, then they lose that sort of spontane spontaneity. and. Um, they become a bit laboured, so it's, it's knowing when to stop most of the time. But saying that, I mean, you kill loads of them. <laughs> so, uh, out of all the paintings I start, I'll, I'll probably, I don't know, you know, 50 percent you'll keep, the rest don't work. And yeah, it's that sort of, yeah, yeah there is a natural wastage, but that's a good thing. Because like all ideas, some are good and some are bad, and it's just finding out which ones are the ones that work. Yeah, all the time, all the time. Yeah. I mean, I've got recurring themes I've been working on for the last 30 years, which just keep popping up in different guises each time, but it's amazing the number of times you'll paint a picture and you think, I've painted this before, and it's true, just because yeah, everyone has certain interests, which stay with you for life, I think. You look at all the great artists and they were in similar positions. They have the sort of narratives that thread throughout their whole lifetime and yeah, I think that's it. I think you're born with ideas and you keep them really. But yeah, I mean you discover new materials and you discover ways of working and also, I don't know, I think you become more confident in what you do so you become less obsessive about things and looser as you get older. So yeah, yeah, I mean, and also, I mean, to say you have a style is quite it's not necessarily the case. I think everyone has lots of styles. When you see artists represented in books, they tend to show one theme throughout, but if you actually look at their output, they're normally doing vastly different stuff all the time. It just gets divided into certain groups afterwards. So it's nice to try things from different angles. So you can do abstract stuff and figurative stuff at the same time, or black and white and colour stuff. It doesn't really matter. You might group it all together in the end as one unit, but yeah, you come at it from lots of different angles. So, yeah. so do you see yourself continuing painting? Yeah, I mean, I've been doing it this long, it'd be hard to stop, really. It's, yeah, it's part of what makes me, really. Yeah, I mean, it, it, 
it does become, I mean, it's a thought process, really. It's just a way of thinking about things. People write songs or people play video games or people watch TV. I paint. It's just a sort of way of getting stuff out of your head and into the world. It's a way of sort of exploring ideas and just, I don't know, trying to understand things, really. So.